one of the major threats to our body politic, our, us people thinking together and how our culture progresses is groupthink. Uh, what do we mean by that? Well, we mean that people stop thinking for themselves. They stop having, that. what does that mean? It means they stop understanding the reasons why they believe this thing or that thing. What they do instead is they just adopt what everyone else is saying. It's happening in San Francisco and Hollywood and it happened in Nazi Germany. It happens in lots of different groups. It happens in college campuses too. I was touring a college campus in Oregon. Uh, you can listen to Dennis Prager, you uh, listen to the guy talk. Um, he goes around and interviews college students. They just say answers. Oh, well, of course we think environmentalism is bad. Uh, we don't know why, or oh, of course we think Trump is bad. We can't point to a specific example, but they just adopt because um, they, just keep adop they just adopt it because everyone else is saying it and they assume it must be true. Okay, so yeah, that's fine when you're a kid, you kind of accept what your parents say, you just repeat it, but at some point you have to grow up and that problem is that groupthink keeps people as children and then just whoever dominates the airwaves dominates how people think and what they, what they think. So for example, people think, oh, the environment's bad or uh, they can't exactly say why, but they just assume all these bad things are happening. And so everyone starts to just chant this, chant this, like in a Coliseum that everyone starts you know, riled up and starts chanting it, that everyone believes it, then they haul out someone and they, they behead them in the middle of the Coliseum. So kind of the idea of how it happens. Same thing with um, why they think Trump's bad. They can't point to exact reason why that he's bad. They just, everyone knows he's bad. And so everyone assumes he's bad, but they can't point to an exact reason. What's wrong with this? Well, Trump may be bad, may not be bad, but the problem with it is that it's not actually thinking well. And so this kind of thinking, cultural mindset, leads to disaster. They can be hoodwinked and taken over by the powerful man or the sly man. Um, so basically that's the problem. Groupthink is just the destruction of our intellectual um, independence and our pursuit of truth and our pursuit of even anything that's rational. So you lead to a lot of bad things and the number one thing that has produced wealth and happiness in our society is people thinking indiv individually, having good reasons for what they're doing and being able to articulate their, their desires and how to achieve them. That's what's made for happiness in America for a long time. Um, way before, and in the Western world for a longer time before that for the last 2000 years is us to be able to have reasons why we believe things instead of just adopting what everyone else says. Because what happens is a group gets in power, they start to persuade people, just like the mafia, just like in Scientology, everyone starts saying things and then they just have to keep repeating it. The left has been inculcated into a cult, cult-like thinking, and anyone can be involved in this. And they have to fight rigorously to get out of it. That's what groupthink is. That's why it's bad, and that's why we're in one of the major threats to America and the world to survive and not be seduced by these seductive groupthink thoughts that are actually being put there, planted there by very smart PR groups, underground groups that make us just, um, they're leading us off a cliff, like, you know, the little animals that walk off the cliff. Um, see them in cartoons a lot. That's the idea. But what really is happening is that there's people behind these PR campaigns that have ulterior motives. One, to control people, and two, to bring about certain destructions of certain parts of the economy, like with environmentalism. They're rigorously trying to go after some major enemy that threatens the globe. So as to unite the globe under one common threat, it could be aliens, it could be um, the, the, what's more unifying than nature itself? The very um, fabric that we live and breathe by, trees and plants and animals. So it's a politically motivated idea that used, is used to put weak people, rally them into submission and giving up everything, giving up all their money, all their wealth, so that they can just be blind voluntarily in the name of some religious experience with nature, of thinking they're doing something really good, um, sort of sacrificing to the gods. 
sacrificing to save our planet. Uh, that's, I mean, it's definitely true we want to take care of the environment, but we want to do so wisely, and we want to identify those powers that are trying to steal and enslave us. That's the key thing about groupthink. That's what we have to fight against, and that's what we're doing here with the Liberty-Minded Caucus.